friends been a little busy lately but uh seems like i got more time to go online and order knives than i had to do my reviews but i promised you we're going to get to this big green box right here and get a uh, another review out of the way today and that is going to be this uh there we go all right that is going to be this big old green box it has a wr case and sons cutlery company and what do we have? We have item number 05561, which is a 268-4SS, born November 1st, 2008. So this is a, uh, a knife that's brand new, old stock. Been sitting on a shelf somewhere for quite a few years. And let's open it up and see what it's all about. We'll get up and close and personal with this knife. All right, so here's the paperwork. A little bit different than our normal one here. Uh, that's the older case paperwork. Check that out. There's your warranty information. And let's see what else we got. All right, there's the address that you got to send it to. Um, more information on the warranty there. That's actually the same page. And... Um, collector's club and here's all your information that you had to fill out so this is kind of before the real internet days where you actually had to uh mail in thing here's all your knife care over here on this side and here's where you fill it out and put a stamp on it and mail that in so pretty cool huh let's put that back in a box we don't want to lose that we'll make sure we put this box away and save it and let's take a look at this little baby right here. All right, so it's obviously a fixed blade, and it comes in a pretty nice pouch. And um, I like that pouch. That looks good. So we'll check that out. But before we do, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it to any of your friends who might like similar knife content, because that's what really helps the channel out. Thank you. Now look at this blade. Now this is a hunting knife and it's got a nice belly. Look at that big case XX stamped in that one side. It's got that rounded swedge that I love so much and I talk about all the time. That case does a beautiful job. On this side of the blade it's got the 268-4 stainless steel etched in there. Alright, it's not a full flat ground. This is more like a uh, saber grind I guess but you know, it's got these nice G10, orange G10 handles. Got a lanyard hole right here. And it is a uh, a nice traction on there. And it's full tank construction. So the blade goes all the way down there. And that's that true sharp surgical steel. And it's got plenty of room for my big 2X hands. I think that handle is 3 and 7 eighths. Uh in the grip area there and um, it's got this rivet construction here those aren't bolts so those are riveted in I'm not sure if those handles are epoxied on there or not um, and I'm not quite sure about this here if I like it I think I might round this off I don't like those sharp edges I'd like to take it down to about there and get rid of some of that and I really want to take those handles off in order to do that. Tell me what you think. Should I leave it the way it is or should I modify it and round those off? I might even take some of this off down here because I don't like the way that G10 comes to a point there and there like that. But I do like this blade. Nice mirror shine and a nice belly to it. And it's kind of thin behind the edge but it's beefy up top. And like I said, this leather sheath here is really nice now that case emblem is a little faint i'd like to see that a little more bold but um man it's beautiful this is the way it come out of the box no oil or anything on it yet it's beautiful no shake no wiggle no worry that is a nice sheath you know that is a nice hunting knife and that orange handle if you drop it you're gonna find it real easy so, I don't know. It's It's got a couple bad points. I can see why maybe they discontinued it. But, um, 
I think with a little mod, this could be a really nice knife. It is 8 and 7 eighths overall, as you can see here. And that blade is 4 inches from the sharpening choil, but only 3 and 3 eighths from the tip of the handle horn there. We'll get more into that in a little bit. But this knife here, it is the 316-5, and it's got a 5-inch blade. All right, and that's a beautiful knife. Stacked leather handle. I got reviews on all the knives I'm fixing to put out here, so you can check my playlist and check them out. This one here's the 323-5. It's also got a 5-inch blade, but the handle's a little shorter. And uh, I love that knife. That is a beautiful knife. Feels good in the hand. Now, this one here is the Buck 119. You know, that's got a 5 and 5 8 inch blade. All right, so that's going to dwarf them all. I mean, this the Buck 119 is just in a league of its own. Okay, these cases are more of a skinny knife and lightweight hunting knife. Well, that Buck 119, well, that's, that's for carving down trees, you know, and busting up firewood. So let's move that out of the way. Now this one here, the 323-5, I think is the closest to the uh, 268-4. You know, it does have an inch of blade extra, but when it comes to case fixed blade, I think that's about as close as you're going to get. The belly is about the same on them both. Check that out. But the uh, 323-5, you know, it's got more of an upswept Skinner blade. So it's got a little bit more, more blade to it. But this one here is nice, and that handle's nice. It's different. But here's the fault. Check this out. With that horn on that handle, you only got 3 and 3 8 penetration. Where on these traditional knives, you got the full 5 inches of penetration. So if you're filleting something or trying to get in deep, you're just not going to get in as deep. You're only getting 3 and 3 8 with that horn. So that's why I want to take a little of that horn off. All right, that's just a... Uh, it's a nice knife, but that's kind of a bad design right there. Okay, so that's why I want to fix it. And let's see how sharp she is out of the box. Been sitting in there for 15, 16 years or whatever. Uh, it cuts, but it doesn't cut all that well. All right. So let's see what we got going on here. Let's grab this leather strop. This one's one with no compound on it. Put it on the smooth side. See if I can work some wonders here. And, uh, ooh, that don't feel good. Yep, got a burr right there. Don't know if you can hear it or not. All right, let's grab this one here. It's got some compound on it. Let's see if we can get that burr off there real quick. Uh, wasn't a very big one, so hopefully it won't take me a minute. Just bear with me. And see if we can make this knife cut just a little bit better. All right. Now, while I'm doing this, just want you to know, I sell both these strops and even more at oneangrykid.com that's all one word oneangrykid.com I got these I got some knife oil and uh, some other cool stuff on there so check that out that's my e-commerce alright so now that we worked it on the compound let's just go back to this now I could load up the other side of this drop of compound I just haven't done it yet that, uh, that other strop you just saw that actually comes pre-loaded with compound so that's nice I got them both sitting out here so uh, I didn't bother loading it up with compound. I moved recently and I got new strops on the desk. So I don't know. I think we uh, we got that off of there. Let's see. It's better. It's better, but you know what? I think I'm going to have to put this on the Hapstone RS. And it just reprofile it to my liking because I think this knife could do a lot better. I mean it's adequate. You could go to work with it the way it is. But I think this is a kind of cool special knife. We'll do some mods to that handle. We'll get a uh, mirror polished edge on it and that'll make one fine hunting knife right there. 
Don't you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you like it or not? Alright, well once again, thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please like the in the uh, button there. And uh, share it to your friends. Other than that, be safe out there. Check out the knife giveaways. See ya.